Okay, folks. Please don't think, you know, we don't understand the words of God because we are so young. Okay? It is the deception. It is deception made by who? To Satan, devil, okay? You know, the words of God inspired by the Spirit of God. When you open your heart, they will receive it. Then Holy Spirit anoint the words of God so that you give, you know, give you understanding. All right? So, the devil always deceive. Oh, I'm so young. I don't understand the words of God. What is word of God is so difficult to understand? No, it's not. It really is not, okay? I remember I run at elementary school many years ago, almost, you know, 50 years ago. More than 50 years ago, I learned pick up Daniel. I understood at the time. See? So, are you ready to receive the words of God? Yes. How many people say yes? Are you ready to receive the words of God? Yes. You know, we are made of dust, okay? When you receive the words of God, the precious, more than gold, you know, more than diamond, world is treasure in our body. See? Yeah, let me read, you know, some verses. Book of Romans, chapter 5, 12. Okay, let me read some several verses, okay? The faith is from, uh, by hearing. Hearing is by the words of God. Wherefore, wherefore, as by one man, sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men including you, okay? For that all have sinned. For until the law, sin was in the world, but the sin is not imputed when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgressions, who is the figure of him that was to come but not as the offense, so also is a free gift, for if through the offense of one many be dead, much more, much more the one, much more grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded unto many, and not as it were by one that sinned, so is the gift, for the judgment was by one to condemnation, but the free gift is of many offense unto justification. But if by one man's offense, the death reigned by one, much more than which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound, that as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen? amen. All right. You said amen. That means you received the word. As you know, sin came to the world. By who? Our ancestor. His name is called Adam. Actually, our foremother, her name is Eve. Sin first, okay? Sin first. Then um, she gave the fruit to Adam. Adam ate it. What happened? At the time, only one man, only one woman in the world, right? If there were, there had been many women, probably Adam could be divorced of Eve, could go another woman. But at the time, only one man, one woman, lived in the world. 
All right? That's why Adam cannot help eating the fruit of forbidden tree and to sin against God together. Why people die? Why man has to die? Bible say what? How? Do you know? The ways of sin is that because not only Adam sinned, but also we also sinned, right? Also sinned. That's why we have to die. How many years later? Maybe 70 years later, 80 years later. Somebody can say 100 years later. What's the difference? All right. You got to understand that. Even though you don't understand, eh, no, I'm so young, I don't think about that. It doesn't, it has nothing to do with me because I'm so young. Don't talk about that. Don't talk about sin. Don't talk about hell. But it is a matter of time before you just meet, come across all those things when you grow. 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years old, you're growing. You know? You know how old I, I was when I came to the United States? I was 29 years old. See? 29 years old. Now, now almost 65. You know that? How many years passed by? More than 30 years, right? Oh, when I memorized, you know, the time when I came to the United States, I just thinking as, you know, three days ago. Really? I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. That's like the death passed upon all men and women, including us. No exception. Because all have sinned. Somebody only tell a lie only once, because of that, has to go to hell. Sin is sin, okay? Much sin, little sin, doesn't matter. And to the eyes of God, Sin. Somebody sinned, okay? But a small thing is a big sin. Somebody sinned cannot come to the Father's house because sinners cannot go over there. The Bible says, All man sinned come short of the glory of God. What's the glory? Glory is eternity. Nobody can participate in eternity because God is eternal God, okay? From Adam to Moses until God gave the Ten Commandments and all other laws, right? All laws, all kind of, you know, uh, regulation made by God. It took about 2,500 years, you know. At the time, there was no law. But still, sin is not impure. At the time, even though people sin, they don't think it is a sin because no, no law of God, no Ten Commandments, for example. The Ten Commandments is summary, summary of the law of God. But even though they think that it is not sin, but from, from Adam to Moses, all men and women had to die. Even though they never sinned, it's the same sin, you know, they have never eaten the fruit of, you know, the tree of uh, the knowledge of good and evil. They have never eaten. But they had to die. Why? Because of sin. All sin. And that's why at the time of Noah, only except Noah and family, all other people, whole population in the earth, probably at the time, you know, maybe more than a billion people probably at the time, they died because of sin. Okay, if because of one man, because of one man's sin, that's why we all, all, death came upon us, right? We have to die because of him. Because of Eve, because of Adam, we have to die. We can make complaint. God knows that. It's not our fault. We're born sinner. It is not our fault, right? The fault of what? Adam and Eve, right? God knew that. That's why. That's why. But God is good. But God is righteous. You understand that. Even though he thought 
The death come upon us is not our responsibility, cannot be attributed to us, okay? Even though God knows that, He's a righteous God, that's why He cannot say, I just forgive you. No. Somebody died for our sin because the ways of sin is death. Somebody died for our sin. That's why God became a man. The Son of God, Son God became a man to die for us. He's a righteous God, okay? That's why He died for our, 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 our sin on the cross. Same thing, because of one man sinned, that's why the death came upon all men and women in the, world, in the world. That's why the righteous God made a plan through one man, through one man, He want to give to us the gift of eternal life. No more death. Another one man, who is that? Who is that? Is that? Another one man, who is that? You never listen to me, that's you don't, you don't say that, right? You cannot answer. Hey, Luki, who is another man? Elliot, who is another man? Stacy, another man. Samuel, who is another man? Huh? What? Hey, Caleb, who is another man? You don't know? You don't know Jesus? God became a man. He, he came to the world as a man and as a God. All right? Because one man, Adam, brought sin to death. That's why another one man, his name is Jesus Christ, his God. Through one man, the free gift of eternal life has abounded unto many, whosoever believe in him. Abound. As the death abounded, all men and women, same thing. Eternal life abounding upon all men who believe in Jesus Christ. Okay? How? Because believing Jesus Christ took away their sin. That's why when they believe Him, all sin forgiven, all sin taken away from them spiritually. That's why our salvation is of what? Hey, our salvation is of what? Our body? Bible says our salvation is of our soul. Our soul is salvation. Our body cannot be saved, okay? That's why our body has to die to be corrupted because of sin. Figure out how many sins in your body? Through the lust of flesh, lust of eyes, and lust pride of life. See? Hey, you shall understand. When you grow 30, 40, okay, you shall understand you are a real sinner. Then you keep these words in your heart. At the time I was elementary school boy, I didn't know I was a sinner. When I became to 37 years old, finally I understood I am a sinner. You know why? Because I've heard the words of God too many times. Holy Spirit reminded me of what I heard when I was so little. That's why, whether you understand or not, I preaching, teaching words of God. All right? Just receive it. Even though you don't understand that, just receive it. Okay? Receive, open your heart, receive it. Keep all the words of God in your heart. Holy Spirit reminds you whenever it is time for you. All right. If by one man sin, death came to the old man and woman, abundance of grace and gift of righteousness, eternal life shall reign in our life by one man, also God, Jesus Christ. It's a fair, right? Because with one man we became a sinner. Another man, through another man, Jesus Christ, when we believe him, we became righteous man woman. It's fair. Many people just complain, God is not fair. But God is fair. To make a fair play, God sent his only one begotten son to kill him three days and three nights to save us. See? God is fair. 
who can sacrifice his only one son. No, never. But God just gave him a sacrifice for all our sinners. When we are sinner, he died for us. It's by one man's disobedience. You know, Adam disobeyed, right? Eve disobeyed. Eating is a fruit of forbidden tree that gives the knowledge of you know, good and evil. One man's disobedience. Many were made sinner, including us. So by obedience, one man, Jesus Christ, God, the Father, asking go down to the earth to become a man, just like a slave. You die for them. Jesus, another man, his name is called Last Adam, obeyed Father God, Jesus Christ, you know, made us righteous. Moreover, the law entered through the law of Moses, right? Sin might abound. The more law, more sin, right? Because sin is defined according to the law. Without law, there can't be any sin, right? Where sin abounded, Grace did much more abound. That means what? The murderer, right? So, uh, somebody who killed someone, okay? He repent, believing Jesus died for his sin. The grace, much more grace abound, right? That's right, because more sin forgiven, right? As sin has reigned unto death, Sinners actually have to die, right? Even so, grace of Jesus Christ reigning us in us through righteousness unto eternal life by Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. That's why you have to, you have to hold on eternal life. Don't hold on lust of flesh, lust of eyes, pride of the world. You can hold on either eternal life or passing away the lust of the world. Either way, you cannot hold on both of it. Jesus said, you cannot worship mammon and God at the same time. You have to hold on eternal life. Whosoever hold on eternal life, no problem at all. The power of eternal life can overcome the power of all the problems, even power of death. They never discourage it before death, you know, because of what? Eternal life. Eternal life can overcome all kind of things, even death, okay? All curses, whatever problems you, you might have. You have to expect many problems, you know, you have to come across in your life. You don't know right now because your parents, you know, deliver all kind of foods, all kind of clothes, whatever you want. But when you are independent, after 18 years later, 18 years or later, right? Then you have to take care of yourself. You have to control yourself. All right? Before that age, before you got independent from your, your parents, you must be ready to live by Holy Spirit, okay? So, so that you may live in grace of Jesus Christ. You may live in eternal life, all right? Whosoever have Jesus Christ within them, they have, they have a testimony, they have eternal life, okay? So, from now on, okay? You just, you know, hold on eternal life. Amen? Don't forget that. Even you sometimes you discourage it, remember, oh, I have eternal life. Then you can overcome all kind of things in the world. You can overcome the temptation of the devil. Devil always tempt through your flaw, your lust, your lust, okay? Through your five senses. But... If you have, uh, if you feel the Holy Spirit, 
you hold on eternal life, you're not going to be deceived, okay? Then you will overcome the world. Jesus said, you shall have tribulation in the world, but be of good courage. I overcome the world. Whosoever has Jesus Christ within them, Jesus Christ is more than devil. That's why you can overcome any tribulation, any miserable things, any curses, whatever. All right? In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, shall we pray? Father, thank you, Father. You're sending your only God begotten Son, Jesus Christ, for us. We are sinners. Even though we don't understand how much you are a miserable sinner yet, but we shall experience gradually we are sinner. We are born sinner, that's why we're sinning. Thank you, Father. Engrave all these words in our heart so that whenever Holy Spirit reminds us, let us be able to be reminded so that we may hold on eternal life. Not anything in the world that shall be passed away. The lust of flesh, lust of eyes, the pride of the life shall be passed away. Thank you, Father. And we are here, not be empty the hand. We are pleased to give you for the kingdom of God. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen.